I think it's interesting when you look at these and you kind of think, you know, what's the story there, right? You know, because you're looking at them and, and you see pictures, you know. I see, that's Manny Segura, right? Yeah. He was a two or three grenade launch guy, Air Force Space Command. This guy here? Yeah. He's a, I always thought he was a pompous ass, but he wasn't. He was a really cool guy. It just took me a while to figure it out, right? This is, uh, this is Ruth. She retired from the CIA. She's going to live in a cabin by the woods. This guy raised his family down the street from me, Pat McCabe. Went in the Air Force in 1964. I had no idea. His daughter went into the Navy right after I went into service. So this bus was given to me by this kid named Jay Booter. He and I used to ride to work today together in the Air Force Space Command. Colorado Springs, and uh, his dad was a cop in the Air Force Security Police. He was a Chief Master Sergeant. I mean, Jay was just this punk airman. Him and his wife got married too young, and they fought all the time. And she'd go sleep over at her friend's house and shit, right? Like, I'm gonna go to the sleepover. Anyway, I got, he and I would ride to work, we'd talk about what it was like to be married and stuff, and so I get to my next base in Scotland, and I get this phone call that his wife went back home to mom and dad, and he hung himself in his apartment. Mm. And he'd give me this before I left. So I did a little casting of it, you know, out of these uh, scrub materials. This is a group of guys called Body Bearers and the Honor Guard doing their funerals. You know, we did like five a day. You, know, you spend a lot of time standing here looking at the family, you know, over their loved one, staring back at you. It's an interesting experience. It was kind of odd, but it sounds really sick. But I, I uh, not sick, but like that guy right there screwed up, man. He's not doing it right. Everybody else is looking straight ahead, no emotion. I don't know what the heck he's looking at. It really bugs me. But that's the like the way they train you, right? You know, I know you're you're laughing at me because it's funny, but it's like that's the first thing my eye goes to, right? Is this guy's not right? He's not in order. But it, there's nothing wrong with that because he's a human being and he shouldn't have to be robotic, right, right. in that moment. And, and that's kind of the thing that bugs me about that whole experience is, you know, you take these, these emotional events and you turn it into this robotic kind of performance art, right? And it's, it's not right. He's actually probably the most right guy there. But I can't see it that way because of the lens that was given to me.